This is Tony Poulos reporting from Mobile Asia Congress in Hong Kong. I have with me again today Nicole McCormick, who's a senior analyst at Ovum in Australia. Nicole, welcome. Thank you again. There's been a lot of talk at this event and recently in the press, and I know you're doing work in cost reduction and operators being so conscious of cost these days. What's involved with cost reduction and, and where's it all heading? Mm. That, that's correct, Tony. One of the big themes for 2012 from Ovum is uh, cost optimization from operators. We still believe that there's a long way to go. For example, in the wake of the GFC, I would have expected, and hey, I predicted and was wrong, that we would have seen a lot more, uh, especially in the, the developed markets, a lot more network outsourcing. Now, that, that didn't come to par as quickly as we would have thought, but it is back on the agenda, and we heard today during the Congress that for, for operators in developing markets, that a key way to, to cut costs going forward is, you know, network network sharing. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one strategy. Another sort of cost optimization strategy which we would expect to see more of in 2012, not only in developing markets but developed market markets as, as well, is network network outsourcing. Uh, you know, markets like India have been very successful in shaving the, the fat out of costs through network outsourcing, and we are seeing a, a move in developed markets, including in Europe, that operators are starting to go down more down this route as well. The, it usually starts with some sort of transformation project within an operator, but that's a very expensive project, and, and some of them go way over time and cost. Is that really the starting point for cost optimization for them? Look. If, if an operator is genuine about cost optimization, I mean, it has to be, in, in our opinion, a, cult, a cultural rethink. It has to be a cultural shake-up. So, you know, if, if these time frames blow out, well, it's better to start from the bottom and up and have it intrinsically through the organization, really, if it's, it's, if it's going to work. We're going to come across some regulatory issues, and, and in some countries, um, legal issues with staff levels and uh, unions to contend with. Uh, is that going to perhaps uh, threaten the livelihood of operators if they come across too many loggerheads in their optimization efforts? Yeah, on the flip side, uh, the labor issue, of course, is, is another part of the, of the entire cost optimization strategy. And, uh, you know, um, this, is a, this is a fact of corporate life that, you know, he heads will go. But, it's, you know, it's a, necessarily e a necessary evil. Margins for operators, you know, at, have been under pressure for the past few years. Something has got to give. One of the ways to optimise, of course, is to merge with a competitor and, uh, you know, reduce competition and also, uh, you know, join up and, and, and get the benefit of both networks. Are we going to see more of that happening, do you think, in the Asia-Pacific market? Look, sh certainly, and it, and it very much depends on the market. Uh, my top picks for uh, M&A activity would probably be uh, Indonesia yes. and, of, and, of course, India. Yes. So, uh, in some markets, that consolidation has happened, for example, already in Australia, but certainly there are a handful of markets where I expect some more acquisition-type activity. Thanks, Nicole. Looks like uh, cost is going to be uh, on the lips of most uh, CEOs for a while yet. Certainly. Thank you. Thank you.